Hey, this is Demon Driver here, and um, one of the things I'm doing right now is I've hot-wired an engine nacelle for the MD-80 in this build. Okay, it's been hot-wired, now I've sanded it, and um, I'm actually adding spackle to it to um, fill in gaps and holes and things like that that have formed while I was sanding it, and things that, you know, irregular irregularities that were created in the hot-wiring process. So. I take spackle, lightweight spackle, okay, and some trowels, and I'm now basically going over the uh, engine nacelle, the MD-80, and you could do this with any engine nacelle. Now one thing I don't want to do is make redundant, vid redundant videos. I don't want to copy myself, alright. How you saw me hotwire the MD-80 nose section is exactly how you hotwire any other section. You do it the same way with a cardboard stencil or hard cardboard or um, plastic for mica. I mean, whatever you want to use, it doesn't matter as long as it, the hot wire won't burn it. So I'm just troweling in seams and cracks and little things that have popped up that way I get a, uh, a smooth finish because I'm going to laminate this engine cell eventually and I'm going to uh, hollow it out and then I'm going to mold it so that I have a MD80 engine cell mold and I'll also do an MD90 mold I'll make an MD90 nacelle which will be wider and shorter it won't be as long but it'll be wider so that, uh, you know, a bigger turbofan engine, like on the MD, MD-90, can fit inside. And the MD-90 has a bigger turbofan engine, so when I make the MD-90 version of this MD-80 kit, you can stick a, a 90 millimeter ducted fan instead of a uh, just a 70, because that's all this nacelle can currently deal with, is a 70 millimeter ducted fan. It's just wide enough to deal with a uh, 70 mil. Even though it's this big, it's, you know, I want it to be scale, so it being scale can only fit a, a 70 millimeter. Okay, so that's how you spackle in um, imperfections on the piece you've molded. You're gonna start, you know, you once it comes off the hot wire, you want to start to sand it and you know first you knife it you cut away excess with a knife then you sand it when you sand it you're gonna get pock marks you're gonna get gashes you're gonna get things that you're gonna need to smooth out eventually so that's what I'm doing right now use the use the dry drywall lightweight you know spackle that you you know using a house and a home when you're mudding a wall or fixing in dings in a ceiling you can use it for uh, for an airplane for RC scratch built plane or any foamy that you wanna you know you wanna cover up dings and dents use spackle works real well alright well it's Demon Driver and we are um, we're moving along here